it welcome to add more zest it's rebecca also known as four kids at 147 and the day is finally here all four of the custom images that i got from aliexpress have been completed um, and hopefully this video will help you to know which company you prefer the look of how they finish a painting. So the idea of this, I will probably have a favourite, but you will probably have a favourite as well. And the idea of me doing four um, paintings and choosing AliExpress for those paintings. So part of the reason I chose AliExpress was because it is accessible to most people that watch this channel, no matter where you are in the world. I bought four paintings. I actually bought them at the end of last year. So prices may have changed slightly, but of course, hopefully the price that I give you gives you sort of a rough idea of their pricing. Um, they're likely to be a little bit more expensive. If you're in the UK, you're likely to have that added now, VAT, that's added at checkout. I actually bought these just before that process kicked in. But we're going to start in the order that I did them and I'll give you sort of my thoughts on the actual canvas and working with it and that sort of stuff as we go along. So the first one that I did was the one from Huacan. I, it's, I did wonder if there was going to be any popping drills issues because they have all been done in square. There wasn't with this. There is a slight gap between each one, but I still found it actually really nice to work on. The Huacan one cost me £8.27 for a 40 by 50 and it took 14 days to arrive with me um, and it's 45 colours. Now what I did with each of these companies is I ordered the painting so I ordered a 40 by 50 and then I sent them the image. I did not ask for any mock-ups or anything like that. I just wanted to see what they came like. I picked 40 by 50 because I knew, you know, it was an image of only one person. So it's not a size comparison like I've done before. I knew the size would be fine and I wanted to see how they did. Now, Huacan did send a picture of a mock-up to say, are you happy before it got sent? Um, we just agreed with every single one. Um, and this is, this is what it came out with. So this is the Huacan one. Say £8.27, 45 colours. It was fine to do. It is a double-sided tape canvas. Didn't run out of any diamonds, I don't think. Not that I remember. Let me just check my diamond painting logbook in case I wrote anything down about that one. But I don't think I ran out of any on that one. No, it doesn't, it doesn't tell me that I did. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is number one. Number two was Hom Fun. Now, normally I am a big fan of Hom Fun. However, I did run out of some colours on this one. I have found they've got, got a little bit worse. I ran out of two and the drill quality was not amazing, I will say. Um, it was not the best. It's also very, very light, this mock-up. So I've also, I did have some rivers in the canvas, though that may have been from me flattening it as soon as I got it. I was able to cut them out though, um, but this one cost me £8.02, so it was the cheapest out of them all. They didn't send a mock-up, but it arrived in 12 days, and it has 44 colours. Now, you can see quite a lot of definition in this one, but to me, this picture is too light. It has been made too light, you can't fully see what the image was, but again, that's my opinion. You may like that look, you may not. 
So that was number two. Number three is Manhui Rachel. So this is the only canvas that came as poured glue. It did cost £15.02. So it was not the dearest, but it definitely wasn't the cheapest. They didn't send a mock-up and it took 17 days to get to me. I mean, really, considering these were all ordered on the 23rd of December, so we are talking Christmas time as well, postage was, was really quick. I can't fault the postage and the time they took to arrive for any of them. Um, but this one has 70 colours. So there is 70 colours in this one. Um, didn't run out of any at all. The diamonds were actually really nice to work with. There was a lot of, I say there's a lot of colours in this one. My only thoughts on this one is it's a little dark, but you can clearly see the image. Um, there's quite a lot of detail. I mean, there is on, on a few of them, but sort of the, the top she's wearing underneath her cardigan. Um, and you can quite clearly see the bush and stuff behind her. And that is a balloon at the top, by the way, <laughs> that was behind. Um, so, yeah, this was a nice one to work on. And the image is true. I'd, I don't know whether I'm thinking it's dark because I'm looking at the other ones that I've done. Or whether it's just because it does look darker when you look at it closer. But when I look at it through the camera, it looks really good it's actually even seems as though it's got a bit of the reflection in the glasses and stuff as well which is nice so yeah that is Manhui Rachel and then last but by no means least we have Ever Moment now Ever Moment was the dearest so this was the dearest of them all this was £27.88 they did send a mock-up before it was sent. Um, this one took 14 days, so two weeks, including Christmas, which is perfect, really. Um, and it has 39 colours. I'm personally not as keen on this one either. I think I have a favourite. Even though I've done them all, and of course I've seen them all from a distance and all the rest of it, there is a few things that have sort of jumped out at me a little bit on each one. So on this one, my mother-in-law's hair looks very grey. Her hair wasn't that grey. Also, her skin tone to me looks wrong. It doesn't look like her. I mean, this is the picture on the canvas and it's, you know, it's not the lightest picture. And she does have some grey in her hair, but she doesn't have a full head of grey hair. So to me, personally, this one is not looking quite right for the person. Um, if I get hold of oh, the others, I'm trying to find somewhere to put them before I sort of bring them back into shot. They're big, big pictures. And it's currently raining, so I can't go lay them out on the grass. So that one, um, again, in a hair, like, it's grey, but it's not as grey as that. Can you see? See the difference? I think this is more of a true reflection of the person than the one below. Though the picture itself, as a whole, has got a little bit of darkness to it. Now, that being said, the image sent... This is probably, possibly the closest, it's between two, um, the closest to what the true image was. Um, and I think it doesn't help that I then went to the lighter one, which is quite a bit lighter, to be honest. Then we have Hong Fun, which has done extremely light. So you have a huge contrast between the two of those. And then we have who I can. So if I try, let's see if we can have a look at a couple. So these are probably 
personally, myself, these are the two I like the least. These are the two that I am nowhere near as keen on compared to the other two. So this is Homfun and this is Ever Moment. And I think the reason being is the the sort of shading that they've done isn't really truly shading on here. And they have made the picture extremely light, which makes the shading stand out even more. In this one, I think they've made the colouring of the face and the colouring of the hair a bit too wrong. Say there was grey in my mother-in-law's hair, but it does seem to have turned all of it grey there where there's still a little bit of brown there. These are my two favourites and I'm going to have a look at them side by side because I've not even looked at them side by side yet to find my favourite one. And do you know what? I think it's the Man Huey Rachel. I think that's my favourite. I will put an image of all four of them. Um, I'll try and create an image of all four of them with the names so that you can fully see them. Well, I can't go spread them all out in the garden <laughs> and get the lighting because it's raining. Um, this one is still extremely good. I think it's just the fact that I can see a little bit too much of the shade in there. It looks a bit starker. A stark difference between the two colours, whereas here it's not. Um, it's also a little bit more defined here between her hair and the balloon. And to me, from a distance, that's not quite as defined. It would have been better if we'd had a picture without, of course. Um, they've both got sort of the detail on the shirt in with the cardigan. And the background, I think on this one, goes a little bit more into the background. Whereas this one is a little bit more prominent, maybe. Anyway, it's not necessarily about my opinion. It's about yours. The reason I've done this is you will look at one and go, that's the one I prefer. Then that would be the company for you if you're unsure. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a long project to get done, but it was a fun project. And I know customs is something that can be extremely hard for a lot of people to decide what company to go for. Um, but my vote, I think, goes to Manhui Rachel or um, Huacan for the price, considering it's it's not quite half price, but it's it's close to being half the price. Um, Huacan is very good if you're on a budget. I have used Evermoment for customs before and found them absolutely fantastic, but they weren't customs of people. They were more cartoon or digital images than they were pictures. Um, so maybe that does make a difference because the digital images that I got Evermoment to do were absolutely fantastic and I loved them. Even the one of Sydney, the five panel that I got done was amazing. Maybe it's just the colouring of a face that they struggle with. I don't know. Um, I definitely don't write them off. So, yeah, I hope that was helpful for everybody. Um, if there is any more detail that, I, you know, that you would like me to go into, do please let me know. I do still have two pictures of this in a different size. So the two companies that didn't send a mock-up, um, which was Homfon and Manhui Rachel. Now, don't get me wrong, if you ask for a mock-up, they'll send you one. We didn't ask any company for one. Two sent them, two didn't. Um, we did order the smallest size they did. Um, so I ordered from Homfon one that was 15 by 20. And from Manhui Rachel, I ordered the smallest one they did, which was 30 by 40. I will do a video on those to show you what their smallest size looked like compared to this, um, as to how small you could potentially get to with one person. But yeah, I will get an image of all four of them, um, put them 
on each corner of the screen and play them at the end of this video, so do stay tuned. Don't forget to hit, of course, the subscribe and the notification button so you can see what the different sizes look like when I get those finished. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.